The philosopher Lord Acton once wrote that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. He was right. Congress does not draw to its halls those who love liberty. It draws those who love power. We suffer from that today. After over 200 years of stretching the plain meaning of the words in the Constitution, we now have a Congress that thinks it can write any law, regulate any human activity, and tax any event, no matter what the Constitution says. But the Constitution was written in order to enable the, it was not written in order to enable the Congress to right every wrong. It was written to define the federal government, to limit its behavior to the 17 specific delegated powers contained in the document and to leave the remaining power to the states or to the people. Today, the states have lost virtually all their independence to the Congress, which has simply and regularly commanded the states to do the things it wants done or offers the states money like a bribe to get, to get them to bend to its will. Will we ever have a Congress that respects the states, protects our liberties, and stays within the confines of the Constitution? This past weekend, while I was in Orlando, Florida, a Florida legislator told me that the new federal health care law will force the Florida state government to raise over one billion new dollars in new taxes and then spend that billion as the federal government demands. How is that constitutional?